Finding a suitable place to live in Germany can be quite expensive. However, there are a few ways that can help you reduce your rent in Germany as you will learn in this video. So when you begin your search for a place to rent in Germany, you come across two terms, kalt miete or cold rent and warm miete or warm rent. The most important difference between the cold and warm rent is the additional cost or the Nebenkosten. The cold rent only includes the pure provision of the living space. The warm rent also includes the additional cost that make the place livable. The basic rent or cold rent is calculated based on the size of the apartment and the local comparative rent. As long as there's no rent limit, your landlord is largely free to set the cold rent. How high the rent will ultimately be will depend on the cold rent and the additional costs. And because of the additional costs, the total rent that you have to pay might be significantly higher than the cold rent. By the way, if you're new to the channel, my name is SN. I'm a researcher and on this channel, we discuss business, investing and personal finance in Germany. Your landlord passes on various expenses of the house to you, the renter, which you will find out in the video. However, when you get the rental contract, these additional costs are an approximation. These approximations can be based on the previous centers or calculations from your landlord. Each month, you pay the cold rent, which is fixed, and the approximated additional cost to the landlord. Every 12 month, your landlord sends you a utility bill or the Nebenkosten Abrechnung. This utility bill contains a precise breakdown of the costs actually incurred. In many cases, you as the renter have to make additional payments if you use more than the expected, and in some cases, you receive a refund from the landlord if they have estimated more than your usage. Here, there might be an exception for those renters who have a flat rate for additional costs. This flat rate means that no matter how little or much of the services you use, the landlord will always cut a fixed rate. This flat rate is mostly applied for shared housing or vacant. However, some landlords may also put a flat rate on other types of housing. For example, I was paying a flat rate on additional costs for my apartment up until last year. So what is included in the additional costs? Simply put, what you have to pay in terms of additional costs is stated in your rental agreement. But not all cost items have to be listed individually there. It is enough if the contract points to the operating costs according to the operating costs ordinance. If there is no reference reference to the regulation in the contract, you only have to pay the items that are mentioned in it. If you don't find any regulations or any mentions regarding the operating costs, then you do not have to pay any additional costs. Generally speaking, you will find the following operating costs in the Nebenkosten. Heating and warm water. This is by far the largest item in every utility bill. Hot water costs are usually also included in the heating costs. That's why many heating cost bills are inaccurate as the landlord must bill heating costs and hot water costs based on consumption. Instead of consumption, most landlords estimate the cost or calculate using a formula. If your landlord does this, then you may be allowed to pay 15% less for the hot water costs, cold water and wastewater. In this situation, your landlord can combine the charges for cold water and wastewater, the expenses for stormwater fees or surface drainage as drainage costs. Additionally, the cost for conducting regular lease and allen testing in the apartment buildings can also be passed on to the tenant. Caretaker. If your apartment has a housemeister, your landlord cannot charge you for all of the caretaker expenses. The caretaker salary and social security contributions are additional costs shared by all tenants. However, if the caretaker's duties include property management or repair, you are not responsible for paying for those specific tasks. If your landlord does not provide a breakdown of the caretaker costs, you can subtract a flat rate of 20% from your utility bill. The caretaker might also perform gardening or stairwell cleaning duties. The landlord cannot bill you separately for these tasks as cleaning or gardening expenses. Otherwise, you would be paying twice. Cable connection. When you sign the rental agreement, you can agree that your landlord will arrange a cable service agreement with the provider. In this case, the cost in card can be passed on to you when billing the operating costs, regardless of whether you use the connection or if it's working properly. However, if the connection is faulty, you might have a right to reduce the rent. Previously, you had to agree to this agreement as there was no choice. But the good news is that starting from July 1st, 2024, landlords will no longer be allowed to pass on cable fees to tenants. Every tenant should have the opportunity to choose their own service provider according to the new Telecommunications Act. So if you only use streaming services and opt out for this connection, 
you can save around 10 euros per month. Other costs. Other costs in the Nabin Costin operational include property tax, elevator costs, even if you do not use it, street cleaning and waste disposal, garden maintenance, lighting, chimney cleaning, and insurances like property, liability, and water damage insurances. All right, now you know which costs your landlord can include in the Nabin Costin. Let me share how you can reduce your rent in Germany with the help of your utility bill. But before I do that, please hit the like button if you're getting value from this video and consider subscribing. The key point to remember about the utility or Nabin Costin bill is that your landlord must provide it within 12 months after the billing period ends. Typically, the billing period concludes on the 31st of December of that year. This means that the landlord has one year to settle the bill. For example, the utility bill for 2023 should be given to you by the end of 2024. After 12 months have passed since the end of the year, your landlord cannot ask you for additional payment. However, you still have the right to receive a credit. Even after the 12 months, you can still request a Nabin Costin Arbration. Even if your landlord provides you with a utility bill on time, you can reduce your rent in Germany by simply checking it, as 90% of the utility bills have an error in it. Here are some typical mistakes that you should pay attention to in the utility bill. Number one, if your hot water costs are not calculated based on your actual usage, but estimated or determined by a formula, you can reduce the amount by 15%. Number two, make sure all the costs listed in your bill match what is stated in your rental agreement. If any cost is missing from the agreement, you don't have to pay them. Number three, you can dispute charges that your landlord has passed on to you, but should be responsible for themselves, such as repair costs, fees for smoke detectors or fire extinguisher, bank fees, one-time gutter cleaning, and other insurance contribution. Number four, if your landlord takes on more than 12 months to provide you the annual bill, they cannot ask for additional payments from you. Number five, if there is a commercial unit in your residential building, the additional costs associated with it should be accounted for separately. If these costs are distributed among all tenants, including residential tenants, you can challenge the billing. Number six, if you have recently moved in, your landlord can only charge you for the months that you have lived in the house, not the entire year. And number seven, make sure that the distribution keys used to allocate the costs are accurate. Compare them with the information in your rental agreement. Here, I would recommend expats to measure your apartment to ensure that costs based on living space are calculated correctly. You might even have asked your landlord to write a larger number on your contract just because you wanted to invite your spouse and children. But be aware, this may cost you hundreds of euros each year. Alright, so you have checked your utility bill and found some inaccuracies. How can you object to the bill? If you find some errors when checking the Nabin cost in Abrechnung, you can object and ask your landlord for clarification. You have a time limit of 12 months to express your concerns about the bill. The deadline for this ends exactly 12 months after you have received the statement. The one-year period only begins when your landlord provides a clear and understandable statement. If they send a utility bill that doesn't explain how the costs are divided among the apartments for different items, it's not a correct bill. The one-year deadline also applies to you if you have previously raised the same objection in invoices from past years. Your invoice may mention that objections must be made within four weeks. This means that the payment is due after 30 days. Even if you object, any extra money you owe or credit that you must have to take must be paid within four weeks. Make sure to write additional payments subject to change on the transfer when you make the payment. Remember that you still have 12 months to raise objections despite the four-week objection period. It's important to specify which costs you disagree with. Simply saying that the costs are too high or the increases are hard to understand is not enough. To get assistance in this to help reduce your rent in Germany, you can contact your tenant association. The local tenant association is the main point of contact and is well known for providing assistance. The experts at the association have a good understanding of the subject and can offer help. To access their services, you usually need to become a member. And the membership cost can differ from one tenant association to the other. Another option would be to get help from a lawyer. These lawyers can help you check the utility bill and take care of the correspondence with your landlord about this matter. Having legal insurance that covers rental distribution could save you a lot of money. I'll put some of my favorites below the like button. I understand that living as a tenant can be a huge headache. This might lead you to thinking about buying your own real estate in Germany. To help you do that, in this video, I share how to buy a house in Germany with zero money. So thanks for watching, bleib gesund and I'll see you in this video.